y'all doing late night with the arts reporter yes indeed hey bird yes we are making up for last night you're tuned into the arts reporter your arts reporter where we focus on arts entertainment entrepreneurs and inspirational life stories i have got my girl too cute in the house i have got a fabulous fabulous young lady cheryl newland that's going to talk about the mary Kay foundation and everything that they uh, raise money for as far as breast cancer, cancer, and domestic violence. And also, we'll be in the Common Sense Corner with Steve Moore, but we'll be talking about the Mistress Club. So, tonight is... um a pretty epic night because I'm not used to being on TV this late coming from rehearsal for the Mistress Club. Just got to let you know Sunday, June 9th at 7 p.m. Please join us for the Mistress Club. We will be performing live. It's a cast of mm, about 20, 25. And Tiffany Roberts is uh, simply tiffanysoul.com. She is simply amazing. Very amazing talent. I love working with this lady. She's got so much uh, invigoration and passion about her work. So June 9th, I want to see everybody at the Roswell Cultural Arts Center. And um, I'm looking forward to playing Andrea. You know, they named a hurricane after one. Of <laughs> yesterday, we were like listening to the news and it was like on Storm, Andrea Storm. And I'm like, OK, well, in the Mistress Club, you're going to love Andrea. Andrea is really cool out. Mm, you know, I'm not going to give you too much. We are going to have discussion, though. Um, about meeting the cast and how we felt about some of the things that they were saying about mistresses and uh, husbands that have mistresses and also wives that don't know or know that their husband have mistresses. I wonder how some of those people feel. And if you're on the chat, go ahead and chat with us. I want to know how people are feeling about that. I've never experienced um, being a mistress or any of my husbands having a mistress. Not that I know of. <laughs> they probably wouldn't have wanted me to know anyway. Y'all know I'm Puerto Rican, so I carry razors. So <laughs> they probably was real good about hiding if they were. But um, the, the, the I, I know that there is a feeling that must be overwhelming. But at the same time, this play is not just about mistresses and women going out. And there is a real great moral to the story. So we'll get more into that later. I got to give a shout out to Love McNeil, June 27th and 29th, Anansi What's a Remix, I Play Itsy Bitsy, and uh, we'll be at Mark Squared Studio, so log on to uh, thearchreporter.com for your tickets. Also, June 22nd, Rimshot the, the Musical, uh, it's an urban musical. A uh, lot of young, young, young castmates that I work with. Just amazing. So Angela Carswell, she has booked us at Faberfaction uh, Theater in Atlanta, Georgia. So that is June 22nd. And we have a 2 o'clock show and we have a 6 o'clock show. Make sure you come and check us out. And July 27th and 28th, I play Spider in Carousel the Musical. Log on to MimiJohnson.net. Where you at? And also, um, you can reach me at thearchreporter at gmail.com for your tickets. Now, the one thing that I have to say is that uh, the SCLC, they are having their 50th anniversary. Well, they invited Rimshot the Musical to come and, and perform for their three-day event in D.C. Now, Rimshot the Musical represents um, the protection of children and st 
stopping human trafficking. So when the uh, when the SCLC invited Miss Angela Carswell, who was our director for Rimshot, um, she put the she put an email out, and I was like, oh yeah, so that's going to be August twenty third through the twenty fifth. I'll give you more information as we get closer to the date for the venue. Then I am going on my NYC Triple Threat Audition Tour. Yes, I am going to uh, audition for some New York casting agents and producers on and off Broadway. I'm looking so forward to it. As you know, that is one of uh, my ultimate goals in life is to perform and be on Broadway. Um <sighs> dancing singing and acting like just give me all three because i am the triple threat um june 14th and 15th women supporting women globally check out uh kim to me at um the clayton county international park and that's uh 2300 highway 138 in jonesboro june 14th and 15th women supporting women globally I'll be there as the arts reporter um, covering the event. And then June 14th, I want everyone, I'm um, June 15th, excuse me, June 15th, Pink in the Park at the Brave Stadium at Turner Field with Mary Kay Foundation. And we, and we have uh, Cheryl who is going to talk about the foundation and raising money for domestic violence and also... Uh, cancer research. So look, we got a great show. We are just, I'm, I'm sort of like, I'm excited and a little tired at the same time. So forgive me if I'm a little sillier tonight than usual. Y'all know how we get when we get <laughs> a little tired and sleepy. We get silly. So the five year old might come out of me from time to time tonight. It's all good. Um, anybody got some chicken? Go ahead and bring it on. <laughs> Email me a picture because I'm hungry right now and I'm going to eat in a little while. But look, you're tuned in to the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs and inspirational life stories. Every Wednesday, it goes down right here at 7 p.m. Shout out to um, Al Burroughs, ILikeItLive.com for all of your television engineering needs. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Mwah. Yes, yes, yes. We're here with Two Q Presents, the arts reporter. What's going on, girl? Girl, you know, it's always about jokes and jazz with me. Yes. I just love me some jokes and jazz at Cafe 290 mm -hmm. this month. It will be June the 19th. Mm -hmm. And we have a fabulous lineup, okay. as usual, because I picked them myself. Yes. And uh, we have Marilyn Blackburn. I am so excited to have her with me okay. this, this month. And... Uh, Marilyn is very energetic, and she's a show person. Okay. You know, a real show person. She's out in the audience. She makes everybody feel good. Good. You, you heard of the entertainer that can make a blind man see? Wow, that's her? <laughs> that's a great entertainer. I want to be like that when I grow up. <laughs> 
And she's beautiful. Yes. Um, and I hope she doesn't get upset with me. But I always love to say that uh, she was the winner of the Miss Alaska contest when Sarah Palin came in second. My thing is, is how does Sarah Palin get to be in a beauty contest? Somebody thought she was beautiful. I think I am. The, the, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I think you are too. You know. Um. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm good. I told y'all I'm silly tonight. <laughs> hey, April. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. So, um, we we you, you also work with Quincy Bonds. Who, yes, I am now working with Quincy Bonds, mm -hmm. who plays Pookie on the uh, Tyler Perry House of Pain. Okay. And what I am doing is sponsoring uh, a young comic to take his class for a month. Okay. And that's how we're going to start with it. Yes. So we have a contest coming up for <laughs> young people from the age of 12 to 19. Mm -hmm. And they will send me at 2cute, T-U-K-U-T-E, at 2cute.net, mm -hmm. a link to their YouTube that's about two minutes. Okay. And we will choose um, who we think are, you know, the ones that we think are the you know, really good, have a lot of potential, mm. and the ones that actually go down and make sure that they've seen the class and, you know, decided that this is something that they want to do, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we'll sponsor one or two to take his class, because it is absolutely phenomenal. The work that mm. he does with these young kids is just outstanding, and to be honest with you, I've been to... Many, 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 many comedy shows mm -hmm. and um, mostly adults, yeah. pretty much. But when I saw these kids, they are talented. They're funny. Oh, my goodness. Yes, they are funny. but And talentedly funny. Yes, you yes. Know, not just funny, goofy, you know, but they are talented. And they do an improv also. So they work off of each other and they work in tandem as a group. Mm. And it's just phenomenal. I bet. Phenomenal. Now, he's got a show that's coming up here. Um, well, he has a show this last Sunday uh -huh. every month. Yes, okay. at the Atlanta Improv. Yes, in Okay, Buckhead. yes, 3 p.m. show. And that's Fat Kids stand-up and improv comedy show. Yes. Yeah. yeah, well, he gave me two tickets, so... Oh, I am definitely going to try to make this. It, it's something to see. It really yeah, is. I, I, it really is. Yeah, and if I can't make it, I'll give the tickets away to someone that I know can come out and represent. Because um, he works very closely with the children mm -hmm. and um, teaching them uh, how to be comedians. Yes. And... Yes. Um, laughter is... He's keeping them off the streets, honey. How's oh, that man? see? <laughs> and also laughter is a healer. So keeping the children off the streets, giving them something to do. That's um, positive. Yes, letting them explore their horizons when it comes to... When it comes to comedy. Because most kids are funny. Mm -hmm. they, they really are. I mean, I used to... I watched my kids growing up, and I'm they, they, they just have me cracking up all the time. But it's always different in front of an audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet. Always different. That's, that's, a, that's a different kind of animal there. And, and mm -hmm. you know, they're put on the spot. Yes, yes. So they have to really be on their game. Yes. Yeah. And when I first got into comedy, Quincy had... Um, the fat comedy show mm -hmm. going on at Twisted Taco at the time. And so I was privileged to be on his stage. Okay. And um, so, you know, I've I've known him for quite a while. And he is passionate about what he does. Mm -hmm. And with most of the people that I work with, they are very passionate, I think, about what they do. Yes. And it shows in the work that they do. Yes, yes. And the performances that they give. And you can you can reach uh, Quincy Bonds at Fat Comedy P H, P -H A T mm -hmm. Comedy dot com. Right. Okay. Good. So what else you got going on? Oh, ain't that enough? Uh, we are <laughs> <laughs> we are sponsoring a basketball team that Emil Worthy, who sings baritone with with me at Jokes and Jazz, he does a summer camp for 
uh, basketball for mm-hmm. girls and boys. Okay. And uh, so I'm looking forward to being down there with the kids. I don't yeah. have any myself, so I hope they don't drive me crazy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, They won't. <laughs> Only if you let them yeah. will they drive you crazy. But if you're stern and you say, don't do it, <laughs> they're cool. But um, but I'm looking forward to it. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's a lot of fun. So I'll be around a lot of kids this summer, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I have a friend also. Uh, I do a, a, um, in, a Christmas in July. Mm. and um, So I'm hoping that I won't be too early this year. But a friend of mine, she makes like three or four trips mm-hmm. every year to Haiti. Okay. And she works with kids down there. Mm-hmm. And what we're going to do for my Christmas in July is collect clothing and things that kids need, books and what have you. Oh, that's that, nice. That they will need and so uh-huh. that we could um, send them down there. Mm-hmm. I always yeah. throw a pin when somebody's making noise oh, in the studio. Yeah. Okay. Anytime you see me throw a pin, <laughs> you know that somebody's <laughs> making too much noise and they need to have quiet on the set. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> All that beeping. <laughs> And I ain't going to tell y'all who it is. <laughs> um, with the comedy, I know that you have been working uh, as a comedian for some years now. Mm-hmm. So let's just take a step back for a moment to what made you get into that business. Well, I was looking for an avenue to sell a book. Mm-hmm. And they say that, you know, you need to have a hook. And I said, well, let me try comedy. Because people were laughing at me anyway. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I may as well see if I can get paid for it. You I know, know that's right. <laughs> but I started out in rooms um, like the the um, fat comedy. And they didn't get started until like 10, 11 o'clock at night. Yes, very late. Girlfriend's got to get her beauty sleep. You yes. Understand? That's too late for me. I get up and go to work. I need my rest. Yes. So... Uh, and then with um, the things that I was talking about, these kids were like in their early 20s, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, it would go right over their heads, you know. So half my routine became, okay, so let me explain, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that was so, comedy within <laughs> itself, I'm sure. They had no idea what I was talking about. Then I, that's where uh, Jokes and Jazz came up in Rita. Rita uh, Graham. Yes. Yeah. She was um, one of the first uh, to do jokes and jazz with me. Uh, Rita Graham, who was a re- Raylette for Ray Charles. Yes. And um, so I started doing that like three, four times a year. I was very fortunate because mm-hmm. I had a nice following. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to give them too much of me because there's only too much of me. Anybody, yeah. Anybody could stand. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so a couple of years ago, uh, we put a show a real show, you know, with other performers yes. um, together. And we've been doing it every month at uh, Cafe 290. Mm-hmm. And But I decided that I liked, you know, putting the show together. I liked looking for comedy that my audience, because my audience uh, consists of mature adults. Yeah, and uh, so I provide entertainment that they would like. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah. uh, here's the problem. Okay. I did this so I can have people to party with. Okay. So by 11 o'clock when the show's done, I'm ready to party and everybody's gone. Wow. I'm left right there by myself. Are you... <laughs> it's not like bring it on, but... <laughs> it's time to go. Everybody's leaving. It's just me. <laughs> but that's all right, though, because I know y'all get to party a lot. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, haven't, oh, I haven't gotten a chance to come... I'm usually either at rehearsal or at a show yeah, myself. I'm working woman in show business. That's what a lot of people keep telling me. <laughs> Are you sure you're not Jamaican? Uh, no, I'm Puerto Rican. I know. <laughs> They're from the from the island. Girl, you always got Puerto Rican on one side and Bahamian <laughs> on the other side. You know, so you know us island people. We, we I'm a slave to myself. Mm-hmm. Like I'm slave and master yeah. at the same time. I say, Mimi, you need to do this. Yes, master. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Back and forth, back and forth. But um, but you encourage me. Well, thank you. You do encourage me. I think that for the last few months, I've had to. Get up off of my duff and get it done. Yeah, because you do get complacent, but not you know I'm adding new things. Now yes. I've got the kids this summer, and um, you know, and I've been doing some um, speaking engagement for women group women's groups, and 
And I love it. You know, I love it all. And it's mm-hmm. just keeping me busy. Because there's there no man to, you know, kind of hold me down nowhere. So. Well, y'all heard it here on the Arts Reporter. <laughs> single. She's single. single. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Not looking for a mate, just looking for a date. Oh. You know. Okay. <laughs> You heard that he on the Arts Reporter as well. Oh my goodness. Not looking for a mate, looking for a date. I'm advertising, but okay. it doesn't work. Well, I mean, as cute as you are, I know That's men are saying. blocking. That's the, the problem. It's not the the, the right men that you, that you want. I know, clearly. and I need all kinds. I know you do. Kinds. But they don't ask me, because I'll go to dinner with anybody. Well, that's not true. <laughs> Almost yeah. anybody. Yeah, I like for them to have teeth. The guy that took his <laughs> teeth out and put them in his pocket while he was chopping on a steak. Why? That was no, I can't do that. No, no, no. So, I have to kind of keep my standards, you know. I, yeah, standards are very important. Yeah. Yeah, they say Very my important. standards are too high, but I do like them breathing. I refuse to go to <laughs> You better breathe. That's right. <laughs> and you better buy me some chicken. <laughs> you, I mean, I want whole chickens. I just want you to bring them from the grocery store. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care if you cook it. I cook my own self. You know, so I, I have one friend that every, he didn't see, I got some chicken for you. He just brings meat to my house. Uh, yes, yeah, raw. That's and right. I'm like, just put it in the deep freezer right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate you. He's like, you welcome, Miss yeah. Mimi. You welcome, Mimi. So, you know, and, 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 and then, um, I think that we have to also bring value to, you know, whoever we're dating or whatever the case may be to, to give them something as well. You know, I don't know about that, honey. I'm trying to learn. Well, yeah, cause I'm kind of a give and take kind of person. You scratch my back. I'll scratch your back. You rub my feet. I rub your feet. You know, you bring me chicken. I bring you whatever it is you want. I'm trying to get to a dinner date right here. Yeah. See, you have to take her out. You can just bring me like, cause, cause whole chickens are like six bucks. So if I could get like five of them, that's a date. I ain't saying you're going to get too much of anything else, but does you get some cooking and some laughter? Um, yeah, that's what's up. So plug your website. Too cute. T U K U T E dot net. Yeah, you can find out anything about me there, or you can go to Facebook at uh, Too Cute. Yes. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. You're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. I got to give a shout out to Diva JC, my mom. Hey, mom, I'm on TV real late tonight, but you know. A little, uh, I'm a diva in training. That's Diva <laughs> JC, and I'm diva in training. Bird in April. We'll be right back right after these messages. Mwah. Music at the house. So high, I reach the sky. Guarantee, my love, it shall be. What's that man intend to do? He said, if you were a good man, you'd beg me to marry you. If you give me some time, I'll make you mine. You are so divine. You make me shine. And every time I'm with you, my heart starts racing. scares you you prefer the single life just give me all your money honey i don't need to be your wife treat me right my baby loves me call me up on the phone my baby loves me he called me on the telephone music at the
<laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you are hello. tuned in to the Ice Reporter. Hey, <laughs> this is Miss Cheryl hello, Newland hello. with uh, Mary Kay Foundation. Yes. Let's talk. First of all, let's talk about how did you get, um, you know, involved with Mary Kay? Well, this is a long story. Mm -hmm. This happened back in the late 70s, okay. early 80s. My mother actually took me to a Mary Kay facial, mm -hmm. and that was the first time I had ever been introduced to Mary Kay. Okay. Now, my mother's your complexion, and back then, Mary Kay didn't really cater to women of, you know... Beautiful brown beautiful skin. Beautiful brown mocha sisters. Okay. Period. Okay. I mean, it's just the truth. Yes. Um, but she's evolved since then, and it's a wonderful, wonderful company. But that was my first introduction. And you know that has stayed with me for the mm -hmm. past 30 years? Mm -hmm. That everybody has always asked me, are you a consultant? Are you a consultant? Someone's always tried to, you know, recruit me or whatever. So I had to think, there has got to be something to this company that I need to be involved in. Yes. And so that's why I became a consultant. Is that perfume, Mary Kay? Yes. Because you smell <laughs> so good. She smells good, okay? I smell good. Yes. And your makeup is flawless as Thank well. You. So Mary Kay has a foundation. Yes, they do. That is dedicated to raising money for cancer research and mm -hmm. domestic violence. Let's Correct. talk about that. Okay, well, it was actually founded in 1996. Okay. And they have given over 31 million to shelters and 18 mm. million to cancer research. Wow. And that means, you know, shelters here in the Atlanta area have gotten money. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. that's what it's going to take. That's what it's for, going to take for, for the survival of domestic violence um, survivors and victims. It takes money to pull them out right. of that situation, right. and it takes a lot of money for cancer research. A lot of money for that. And so. I'm 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 an activist for both. Right. Those are two of the out of the yeah. ten. Um, causes sure. causes that I represent and, mm -hmm. and just hope to bring awareness. Right. So we have an event coming up yes, on June do. 15th. Yes, Let's talk do. about that. It's actually called Pink in the Park with the Atlanta Braves. Yes. And this is the first time that the foundation has ever worked with the Braves. Yes. So we're very, very excited about it. Um, June 15th is Father's Day weekend. If you haven't gotten your Father's Day gift, perfect opportunity you're killing two birds with one yes, stone. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. I don't know really any men that don't like, baseball. don't like baseball. And they'll just go, even if they don't represent for any team, just to go. Just to go. To represent for, to the, for the foundation, um, a family outing. Right? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, um, did Mary Kay put this event together or did you spare, spearhead this event? I actually spearheaded it. Yeah. And I know it was a big push for me. I haven't really done anything quite this big. Yes. But I just had a passion for it. I just went on their website. I said, ooh, that'll be something good to do. Yes. And I just did it. Yes. I just did it. And Al, make sure you just keep that uh, pink in the park. Keep that uh, flyer up there. Yeah. And it's also, I added it um, to the ad reel okay. so that we could keep it in in our rotation throughout the format of the show and just give you some advertising. Um, now, with Mary Kay, the foundation, you know, with all these millions of dollars in helping, mm -hmm. um, you know, just with research and with domestic violence, um, how does that make you feel when you know that you are a part of a company that is helping society? It makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. I, I um, feel like it's something bigger than myself mm -hmm. and an opportunity for me to really give back. I yes. mean, that's just me. That's yes. who I am anyway. So it's just about giving back, helping those. I mean, I've never known anyone in a domestic violence situation or affected by cancer. I'm just a spokesperson. Mm -hmm. And actually, the foundation actually asked me to be an ambassador okay. for the foundation to talk about what I'm doing right now. 
Well, that's so wonderful. Get the word out. Get the word out about the foundation because a lot of people don't know. They just know Mary Kay, pink cars, lipstick, makeup, skin care, but it's bigger than that. Mary Kay uh, company has a really big heart, mm -hmm. and I'm glad I'm part of that. Good, yes. So anything you want to reach out and just tell people just in general? I just want to tell y'all, please come out and support the foundation, support this event. Yes. It's wonderful. You can hit me up on Facebook, Cheryl Newland or Pink in the Park. Good job. Well, look, we are going to um, go to a short commercial break, and then we're going to bring Steve Moore on because we've okay. got to talk about the Mistress Club. Okay. And you met the cast from yes, the Mistress Club, and also Too Cute met, met the cast. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring Steve in, and we're going to talk a little bit about the Mistress Club, and then we're going to bring you back because okay. I want to get your opinion on how you felt about meeting the cast <laughs> yeah. and everything that we were talking about in okay. our in our endeavors of just meeting together, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, June 15th, make sure that you come and hang out with us. Pink in the Park Day at the Brave Stadium, which is at Turner Field yes. at 4 p.m. And I look forward to being there to cover the event. And we'll be right back right after these messages. Mwah. tuned in Mimi Johnson.net the arts reporter your arts reporter where we <laughs> focus on arts entertainment entrepreneurs and inspirational life stories and funny business over here yeah. oh hey. my goodness <laughs> yes how can I help you today tonight I got a riddle for you okay where does a one-legged waitress work You give up? I give up. I hop. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hey. You know, and a lot of times I scream <laughs> what people are going to say. Oh, but yeah. I decided not to today. <laughs> Let me see. 
see what this looks like on me. Oh, I, all I need is my cigar. You know, she was talking <laughs> about, you know, those late hours. You've been out ripping and running and busy all day, you know, just promoting, rehearsing and stuff oh, like that. Yes. You do get silly. Especially yes. if you haven't had the intake of the perfect food ever created. Chicken! You, know, you haven't had that chicken. <laughs> but um, today has been a long, grueling it, day. Well, I'm know. not going to say grueling, well, I'm not, but it's been long. Yeah, it's been a long day. Like and it's, 9 o'clock this morning, I was up. Oh, you got to check out my hairstyle, Ayokisha Smith. Excellent yes, job. indeed. Log on to um, Natural Hair Quest. Um, okay. And I, so I did that this morning, right? And got my hair done. Sorry. You showed that target on your back. <laughs> it's my new tattoo. And you know, the day, the day is still not done. Uh, we leave here. We have to go do a quick photo shoot. And uh, we just came. We just got back from rehearsal for the Mistress Club. Correct. It was one more. Oh, I had a wonderful, wonderful meeting with some people downtown that want to invest in Woman the Musical. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and so. um, that that was it. And they got some money too, so we gonna you know we gonna pray on that. We're gonna make sure that the contract is in order. Make sure because all money ain't good money. Exactly. And make sure that we are in order and they're in order. They seem like really, really good people that are interested in helping us to uplift Woman the Musical and take it on tour nationwide. There you go. And if, and if uh, anyone is watching has seen the production. Yes. Um, you know, it was well enjoyed. It was talked about. Yes. And it's still being talked it about. It is. So uh, tell your family, your friends that live in other states that we will be coming to a theater near them yes and to come out bring their friends and bring children they would enjoy it. yes it's they a family it. it's a family uh um production um so let's talk about the mistress club you got to meet the cast last yes, night yes very talented uh group of people mm -hmm. this production is uh i don't know how to describe it i mean it's there's music, there's singing, there's mm -hmm. drama, there's a touch of comedy. I mean, the storyline is deep. It'll keep you focused on the stage. Yes. Uh, and if there's somebody sitting in front of you that just can't keep still, you know, you just might have to reach over and say, excuse me, sir, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those type of shows. But, I mean, it's a fantastic uh, production. Tiffany Roberts really mm -hmm. put this thing together. She went all in on it. Yes. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yes. And you'll be doing photography work for I'll the be production. Doing, right, for, the red on, carpet. Uh huh. Red and, carpet on, and on will, uh, show night, which is June 9th. And I will also be doing uh, interviews for the Arts Reporter. Ah, yes. Mimi Johnson, the Arts Reporter. Your Arts Reporter is uh, Andrea. I am. Yes. So. I'll be busy behind the scenes uh, with my camera. And, yeah. I mean, this is really going to be great. You guys need to come out, mm -hmm. check this out, and believe me, you will not be disappointed. Yes, and we have some VI VIP tickets as well for dinner, beverages, and meet the cast. Um, so get in touch with the arts reporter at Gmail for your tickets. And um, look, my mom says, yay, new tattoo. <laughs> we'll talk <laughs> about that. <laughs> um yeah, and, um, well, I just left rehearsal. Uh, Tiffany Roberts was very intense with, um, making sure that everything was in order. We were actually in act two when I had to leave to come here, um, because we had to air our show, um, for this week. And the one thing about this production is, is that it really makes you think about the decisions that you make before you make a decision exactly. and whether you're a mistress a wife um or, or you know a wife that has a husband that has a mistress or a husband that has a mistress like all of these people play such a big role in decision making and choices and um i just really have to say that um my my role is is dynamic well y'all already i'm i'm all through the play I, I i get to sit down every now and then my presence is more 
than lines. Exactly. My presence and it's a necessary presence. Yeah, and I'm I, I'm kind of glad she didn't give me a lot of lines because I'm. Uh, cast in well, so got, many productions right now. I'm like, <laughs> where's my Ginkgo Bola? Uh, yeah. So, um, but the but the, the 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 lines that she did give me um, Im- have so much impact and influence, and um, from the beginning to the end. And I love um, working with um, our principals, Zach and Delilah, yes. um, and then we have um, just our mistresses. Um, and we have a couple of other supporting actors and actresses that are just dynamic. Um, and I, I know that this production is going to be so successful. Um, and we're taking it to DVD. So for people that uh, do not get a chance or are not in Atlanta. You will find um, it in Walmart yeah, and, and Redbox. Redbox, yes. And um, probably some other... Uh, distributors yeah. yeah because Tiffany Roberts is really going in so you can find her at Facebook and you can also uh, log on to simply Tiffany com. all the information is there as well I am yeah mom I need some ginga ginga bola if that's what it is yeah, can you ship me some I'm going because I have to I have to intake so much um, information and by the time I get one play out the way here comes the other one which oh I am totally blessed thank you Lord for booking me that's my booking agent and my and my manager the most high I always say thank you so much for keeping me working um, and I know casting agents are out there like how is this child getting all of this work I don't even know who she is well you better know the triple threat Mimi Johnson dot net and um I and I'm I, I think as a go getter just a person that um I love to be on stage as you know everybody knows that knows me um I I, I just want to bring happiness and cause impact with my with all this talent that God has given me and I need to be able to utilize it because if I'm not moving around or if I'm not on a stage or at rehearsal, I'm like, well, I do a lot of work in the office. You know, we're selling ads, we're booking for t- Tar TV, we're uh, we're writing Last Man. Exactly. Well, I got a question for you. Yeah. You remember uh, when I showed you that video of me playing the old man? Yes. Play, she was like, "Oh my God!" And you're hiding this. Why haven't I seen this before? I didn't know you can do this. Yeah, I showed you my dad's pictures when I was like four or five. Yeah, in the stage play. Yes, and she basically is like, yeah, "You need to jump on board." Yeah, <laughs> so. and now he's booked with the Arts Reporter. Yes, Anansi. What's the and remix? Carousel and Carousel as, as brother, brother man. And in woman also as I, as the children in the play call me nasty, nasty Evan. Evan. <laughs> <laughs> now now for the Mistress Club, um, which I know we're going to enjoy June ninth Roswell uh, Cultural Arts Center this Sunday. Um, what would be what would be something that you would tell people why they should come and see the Mistress Club? Common sense. Great talent, great ticket prices, mm-hmm. safe venue, nice music. Yes. I mean, just you, you be, you're going to be surrounded by wonderful people. Mm-hmm. Not only in the audience, but you know you're going to be entertained by wonderful people that are in the cast. Yes, the songs that are sung, like yes. the song that Delilah did tonight, yes. Keeping Secrets," beautiful song. Get your VIP tickets. Mm-hmm. That's the best thing going. Because you sit there, you watch the play, you know, hopefully you won't hear your stomach growl, but I mean... The food it, is going to be amazing. The food is going to be off the meters. Yeah. And then you'll get to enjoy your meal with the cast members. Right. You'll be able to get your autographs, you'll be able to get your pictures taken with the cast. Yes. Because these are all seasoned actors that have done movies mm-hmm. and have done numerous plays and... uh you'd be proud to say, hey, I met this young lady, or I met this gentleman. Mm-hmm. We sat down, we broke bread together. We laughed, we talked like old friends. Right. Common sense. Enjoy your evening out. 
I, and I believe uh, Tiffany said parking is free. Okay. And there's ample parking, so you don't have to park somewhere and walk two or three blocks. Okay. In heels, ladies. Yeah. And uh, gentlemen, you know, you don't have to hold your wife's purse and hold her arm to keep her from falling because she has on heels and you're walking so far. But uh, common sense. If you like to enjoy yourself, if you like good talent, if you like theater, mm-hmm. come out. And enjoy it. Yes. And um, also, um, we have red carpet uh, at 530. So, I'm going to bring back Cheryl, Newland, and 2Q. Mm-hmm. So, we'll be right back right after these messages. You're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Late night, so silly. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> the child I'm sitting here like Joan <laughs> is that you <laughs> Coming to the light. <laughs> I love it though you know a lot of people um compliment me on I, I followed in my mother's footsteps mm-hmm. and pulled on her coattail for so many years uh, learning right. being trained to be um, a businesswoman and an artist she's a brilliant woman brilliant and um I, I must say that um I, I'm glad that I look and and am like my mother, you know, that because she's very intelligent, she's on her way to Rome. Yes. She's going to Roma um in July mm-hmm. and she's going to perform and she's going to have a great 
time and I love it when my mother travels because she she loves to travel mm -hmm. around the world and sing and bring joy. So I just wanted to give a shout out to you, Mom. <laughs> Mwah, <Yeah>. I love you. <laughs> Arrivederci. I know that's right. Bye, holla. <laughs> so look, ladies, you met the cast from... Uh, uh, the Mistress Cub last night. Yes. 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 Let's, let's, yes. let's talk about that. How, how did you like them? Very lively, talented group of men and women. Yes. And um, I think that the way that this play is being put together is phenomenal. I'm, I still can't believe the value. VIP tickets for thirty five dollars. You yes. get to eat, you get to drink, you get to be with the cast. Yeah, red carpet. Yes, carpet. yes. yes. It's unbelievable. I mean, that's a real night. Yeah, you know, exactly. that's a real for thirty five dollars. You exactly. can't beat that, you can't beat guys. You take your ladies. Stuff. Yes, fun night. Well, I, I don't want to say a cheap night because cheap kind of. That just just it, affordable. It's, it's, yes, it's Good seventy bucks for you yeah. and your date. Seventy yeah. bucks, or for it's you and a girlfriend, or dinner or a show. Yeah, dinner, a yeah, show, dinner and show, and beverages, and autographs, and yeah. autographs, and red carpet, <laughs> and red carpet, <laughs> a and memorable night. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fabulous. So, what did you think about um, the actors and actresses that you met? Wonderful, very talented. Mm -hmm. You know, they sold me really like five minutes after they started talking. Yes, I was like, I have to go to that show. Yes, it's going to be good. Yes, it's going to be good. And then the young lady that just sang, you know, at the end, mm -hmm. she was just singing. Beautiful voice, beautiful. I believe her name is Lachey, but if you go to um, Simply Tiffany soul.com you get to meet all the cast mm. there and also we have an events page at facebook that i'd like for everybody to join um just okay. put in the mistress club and join our events page as well and um there are most of the um castmates are triple threats they um sing dance and act or yeah. one or the other um like two of mm -hmm. the three um and it, it's just amazing how um, God has put me in touch with such wonderful talent yeah. that not only I get to work with them as a castmate, but I also get to bring them on the show for them to um, interview. We're going to do a post um, show um, probably within the next couple of weeks just talking about the show and yeah. how everything went, you know, with the show, which um, I know is going to be sold out. It's, it's Roswell Cultural Arts Center, June 9th at 7 p.m., 5.30, red carpet. So, Steve, yes. um, when, because uh, you come to some of the rehearsals, we don't want to give too much about the show, but what, what what's your feeling about, you know, like, um, Zach? Well, with Zach, uh, it's, it appears that he is holding a secret mm -hmm. and it just, you know, that it, it just came out at an inappropriate time. Mm -hmm. And I think he just basically got caught up in the mix okay. of things. But, uh, don't tell too much. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I, I can just say, you know, I, uh, kind of envy Zach because he holds tight and he stays, you know, he stays with it without losing his cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, he maintains. Mm -hmm. Now with Delilah, Delilah is, a, these are the principles we're talking about. That was a young lady that was sitting over right. here. She, she was, she's very quiet. She's, a, it, it, you know, she learned a million lines in like three weeks. Yeah. Okay. But she's very quiet on set until it's time for her to perform and she's an amazing talent i'm stephanie but she's delilah in the mistress club and um when they brought this young lady in um you know they gave her the script in three weeks she knew like almost all her lines her cues and everything and of course with extensive rehearsal because you have to rehearse you yeah. have to rehearse with your cast we have been rehearsing three times a week um and I, I just have to give a big a, a big shout out to the entire cast, Tiffany Roberts, for being such an incredible director and writer. So if there was anything that you wanted to say to entice, besides the fact that she's going to be there and she's single. <laughs> okay. 
You better buy her a plate <laughs> for a date, <laughs> not a mate, not a mate, a what, date. <laughs> what would you What would you say to people to have them come out and enjoy the show with us? Well, I would just say that if you had an ounce, just an ounce of intelligence mm -hmm. if you had an ounce of appreciation for the art mm -hmm. you should come and see this play okay exactly and what about you cheryl exactly well i agree with that if you love the theater you will love this play mm -hmm. great talent young talent that's just what I saw. Mm -hmm. so, it's some middle-aged talent up in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm a thoroughbred. You know what I'm saying? But nobody I'm, would know if I'm, you didn't no, tell I'm 47. Right. I'm 47. <laughs> I let it be known. I'm like, I'm 47. Yay. Um, and, and, we, and for this particular, um, this is an, an adult uh, show. It's 18 and older. A lot of the shows that I'm booked for and plays that I'm booked for is for children mm -hmm. to, or, or families. You know, like everybody can come out. But for this particular show, it is 18 and older. And, um, you know, just to give you heads up, the, um, no children are going to be allowed in the theater. So this is our grown folk night. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going we gonna to take it like that. It's, it's for us for the it's grown, grown folks. Folk subject. Grown it folk. is. Yeah, it is. It is. And um, we do have two young castmates uh they are in and out you know mm -hmm. they like um tiffany just like did some salt and pepper with them mm -hmm. um to show that children can be affected oh, by yeah. the choices mm -hmm. of this situation as well mm -hmm. yeah um all right so we're gonna get on up out of here any last words miss cheryl no, just remember, hit me up on Facebook, Cheryl Newland or Pink okay. in the Park. We'll see you at the game. Yes, mm -hmm. on June 15th June at the 15th. Braves uh, Turner Field. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Busy week, June 19th, Jokes and Jazz, Cafe 297 p.m. Yes, TuCute.net. dot -E net. Too Not cute. Too cute. <laughs> too cute. Dot, dot net. Too cute. Dot net. And Mr. Moore. June 9th is going down the Mistress Club. Come out, check us out, support it, get that VIP ticket, get that big plate, enjoy the cast, sit down and chow with us, get on the red carpet. Yeah. Got your back on the pictures. We're Phil Moore Photography, 770-609-7173. Come on out. All right, so you heard it here, the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories every Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we are having our prettiest pink with Nichelle Fox. Yes. Talking about our breast cancer awareness, um, research, funding, support. So stay tuned. Pretty is pink next Wednesday. And on three, we're going to say tartar. One, two, three. Tartar! Ta -ta! Mwah.
wanna do it again and again. Oh.